Oh yeah, it's double. Double again. Okay, so here's recipe number six in the epic low-fat raw vegan nut free Thanksgiving uh, video series I'm doing, or Thanks Living. This is uh, an all-time Thanksgiving classic cranberry sauce, and uh, I remember always at Thanksgiving the uh, the cranberry sauce on the table would just come from a can, and uh, my mom would have this nice beautiful crystal dish and then take this can of cranberry sauce and you could just hear the the air suction thump, and no one would even eat it and uh, so I don't know maybe if this was what was on the table people would want to eat it anyway this is a really simple recipe and you can uh, make it sweet and more like a dessert if you want or keep it tangy. And so we've got cranberries here. I've got a cup and uh, I figure you're not going to end up needing that much cranberry sauce. So we're just going to use a cup of the cranberries. And I have uh, some persimmons here. Nice fall fruit that you should have in season when you're making this recipe. And also have some orange juice if we need to uh, thin it at all. And uh, you could also use apple juice that you might want to make as well instead of orange juice another nice fall fruit to uh, kind of make this cranberry sauce. So we're going to blend some of the persimmon and uh, cranberry together and uh, if we want to thin it all, that's what the orange juice is for. Then we're going to pulse the uh, remaining cranberries so we get those classic chunks of uh, cranberry that'll uh, give you that tangy taste. Alright, so off to the blender. All right, so we're going to uh, get this cranberry sauce going. I'm going to go ahead and put about half of the cranberries in. Near enough is good enough. Then I'll put uh, some of our uh, persimmon in. Just see where that gets us. Put some more of our persimmon in. The persimmon is what gives it that uh, kind of gelatinous uh, consistency that you're used to, sort of like a jello. Now this is where the orange juice comes into play. I'm going to add a little bit of this to thin it out. But of course, we don't want to make it too, too thin. Okay, so that's a really good consistency there. And it's, it's got that slight sweetness of the persimmon with a little bit of tanginess of the uh, cranberries and OJ. And now we're going to go ahead and pulse these last ones in so that we get those uh, a little bit more tangy flavor that we're going for. And then like I said, you can make this however you like, really tangy or more on the sweet side. Awesome. Looks great. Deep red and good flavor. I'm going to go ahead and uh, put this in a nice uh, bowl that my uh, mother might put cranberry sauce in. But this stuff is not coming out of a can. Okay, so let's go ahead and put our cranberry sauce. into our dish here. Let's 
got a good consistency to it, not too runny, not too thick. The uh, nice thing about the persimmon is that it will naturally thicken it up with its pectins. There we go. And voila! All done. Alright, I think you're going to enjoy this recipe on top of your uh, Taraki cutlets. That's the uh, first in the series. If you uh, want more recipes like this, highly suggest that you check out my uh, Low fat, raw, vegan, nut free ebook. 50 gourmet recipes that are low fat, super simple, easy digesting, big in flavor, and I uh, think you're gonna love that. So check that out. Peace. Hope you enjoy all of these Thanks Living recipes. Oh yeah, it's double organic. Don't forget to subscribe on YouTube. Comment, like, share, and subscribe. We've got epic recipes for you. Fitness and raw food motivation. Connect with me on Facebook and Instagram. You won't regret it. Stay tuned for more.